What's up, what's up, YouTube fam? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Candace, and today I'm going to give y'all the tea, honey. I'm about to tell y'all all my business, okay? So today I'm going to share with you guys my very first YouTube check, how much I made, how much am I making as a small YouTuber, and the whole process to become monetized, how to monetize your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. So the first thing that you need to do to become monetized is to set up an AdSense account. Now I went ahead and did this as soon as I started my channel and I suggest you do the same just to make the process easier so that way by the time that you are being reviewed for your monetization, you already got everything set up, honey. You are ahead of the game. So definitely go ahead and set up your Google AdSense account because they are actually the one who pays you. YouTube doesn't pay you. Google AdSense does. And just so you know, I'm using my phone right here for notes because I'll be forgetting. So to get monetized, you have to reach two thresholds in a 12-month period. The first being 1,000 subscribers and the second being 4,000 watch hours. Now, watch hours are the total sum of time that people spend watching your videos. So they have to watch your videos for a total sum of 4,000 hours in a rolling 12-month period. And if you go to the monetization tab in your creator studio, it'll tell you where you are so far in regards to reaching those goals. So as you can see, I have a picture right here, what it looks like, and it says, get reviewed after reaching 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. But at this time, I only have 552 watch hours and 526 subscribers. So as you can see here, I reached the 1,000 subscriber threshold, which is why it gave me the green check next to it, but I still needed to reach the 4,000 hours. And then on this this picture I actually met both so I had the green check next to both of them and then it says up there up top you've reached 4,000 watch hours in the previous 12 months and 1,000 subscribers nice job your channel is now being reviewed to make sure it complies with the YouTube partner program terms and our community guidelines we'll email you a decision usually within a month or so so just like that picture said, once you reach those thresholds, your channel will go under review and you'll usually hear back. Some people say it took a month. Some people say it took like two or three weeks. For me, it only took one day. Like I hit those goals on Sunday and then I got accepted or approved on a Monday. So I think it just depends on how busy the people are at YouTube. So if it's like on a slow time, I guess, which is what I had, they didn't, they maybe didn't have that many channels to review. So that's why mine's got done so quickly. But I guess if they have like a lot to do, a lot of channels to review, it'll take more time. So it just varies. Oh, and also once you reach that threshold, like the 4,000 watch hours in the 12 month period, if you fall below that, like say you reached it, but then like somehow you drop below the 4,000 watch hours, you don't have to then go try to go back to 4,000 hours to get monetized. Once you reach that threshold and be approved, you're done, you're goody. Like there's nothing else you have to do. You don't have to keep worrying about having those 4,000 watch hours. Once you get it that one time and get approved, you're good. So once whoever reviewed your channel makes their decision, you'll get an email whether you've been approved or not. So if you get approved, I have my email right here. It says, congratulations, you've been approved to join the YouTube Partner Program. And it says, congratulations, your YouTube channel, Curly Candy, has been accepted to the YouTube Partner Program and is now able to monetize on YouTube. And if you're denied, they'll send you an email as well, letting you know why you were denied. And it could be for a couple of reasons, like if you use a lot of copyrighted music, which is why you shouldn't be putting any Drake, any Beyonce, any whoever, whoever's popping at the moment. Don't put their music in your videos if you're trying to get monetized. So yeah, it can either be that, like copyrighted music. Or if you're doing like some shady things to get your subscribers up, like you know how people do that sub for sub or like if people pay for subscribers and things like that, like YouTube really be watching it. So if they can tell that you did like some type of shady stuff to get your subscribers, then you won't get approved either. So once you've been approved, your past videos that you've already uploaded should automatically have the monetization enabled. But just to let you know, your monetization starts from that point on. Like any views that you got in the past, those does not count towards getting your money honey no coin from them it's just from that point forward is when you'll start getting paid so once you become monetized those past videos they should already have enabled but if not you can go ahead and go into the creator studio and i think in the video part where it shows all your videos you should see the green dollar sign next to your videos but if not you can just easily just turn it on and for your newer videos you can actually hit the monetization tab while you're uploading and then you can just set your little settings for that turn monetization on and then once you do that once your videos from that point on all your new videos will automatically be monetized as long as there aren't any copyrights or anything on it then you're good 
And then you can also go into your settings and determine the type of ads that you want on your videos and where you want to place them. So the different types of ads are you can have like the skippable ads, the non-skippable ads. You can put like the little ad cards that's on your videos. I think it's only on like a desktop or laptop you see those. Or you can have the ad set up for, I think it's like right above the suggested videos on a desktop. Right above the suggested videos, there's like a little square and it'll have the ads there. So you can determine where you want your ads placed on your videos and on your little page or whatever. And then you can also determine how many ads you want. Like if your video is less than 10 minutes, you can only have one ad and that'll be right in the beginning of your video. But once you hit that 10 minute mark, honey, you can have ads galore. You can put an ad in the beginning, in the end, you can put 50 in the middle. I would suggest you don't do that because then people will click off your video because it's too many ads. But like you can put ads anywhere. You can put however many ads you want once you have a video that's at least 10 minutes long. And I try to keep it simple because I know me, like if I'm watching a video and y'all got like 50 million ads, like I'm not about to watch y'all just click off the video. So what I do is if I have a video that's like 15 minutes long, I'll put one in the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end and call it a day. Like I'm about to like spam y'all with ads. Okay, so now that you have everything set up, you're officially monetized, you got your settings together, you all good, you all ready. What's next? How do you get paid? When do you get paid? So let me tell you. So YouTubers get paid based on two metrics, ad views and ad clicks. And YouTube doesn't pay if someone skips the ad. Side note, if you're watching my videos, don't skip my ads, sis. Help me out, honey. I'm trying to make some coin. Please watch them ads. Watch them. Click on them if you want to. They give me a little extra something, you know? Because for an ad view, like just watching the ad, we can make anywhere between 10 to 30 cents per view and then if you click the ad you'll make a little extra more and also I would suggest for you to download the creator studio app onto your phone because that way it'll actually give you a current earnings amount on the app and it'll update every 24 hours so it'll let you know how much money you have so far earning on your channel so when it comes to what day you'll get paid AdSense actually pays out once a month on the 21st It's usually on the 21st but it can range anywhere from the 21st to the 26th but I mostly get my money every day on the 21st and you must reach the $100 threshold to get paid so let's just say for one month you make $99.99 since you ain't getting paid that month you need that extra cent so it'll just roll over to the next month and then whatever you make from that next month they'll add it together and then they'll send it to you if it reaches 100 so once you reach the $100 threshold for the first time AdSense will let you know that they're going to send you a little pin code pin number in the mail to verify I guess like your address or your identity and that's actually this right here what you'll get the paper that you see almost everybody holding up the Google AdSense paper and so they'll send you this in the mail and I have a pen in it and they tell you to go to the website go back into your um, AdSense account type in the pin and then once you type in the pin you can then put in like your text information and confirm all of that so that's the whole process of what it takes to become monetized so now I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me and my channel um, how long did it take me to get monetized and then how much I'm making honey so I uploaded my very first video on YouTube on July 4th 2019 and I hit a thousand subscribers on Monday August 19th so it took me, I guess, like a month and two weeks to reach a thousand subscribers. And then I don't know what happened, but like it's like once I hit a thousand subscribers, which is what I've heard many people say because I've watched other videos when people say like once you hit a thousand subscribers, it's just like, psh, like it like takes off all of a sudden. Like, I don't know, I guess YouTube kind of takes you seriously at that point. So they put more effort into promoting your channel to other people. But I hit a thousand subscribers on Monday and then by that Thursday I was at 2,000 and then by that Sunday I was at 3,000 so it went very quickly like I was at I went from 1,000 to 3,000 in six days so like really your channel really does just take off after you hit that 1,000 subscribers I've heard people other people say it and I saw it for myself and then I reached the 4,000 watch hours on August 25th so it took me about two months a little less than two months to become monetized um, I went under review for monetization on Sunday and then I got the email approving me for monetization sorry that's my email and then I got the email approving uh, me for monetization on that Monday so everything went very quickly like I was surprised because I heard, like I said, I heard so many people saying like it took them like weeks to get to hear back about their channel being monetized or whatever. But for me, they approved me the very next day, like I said. So 
um I guess it was a slow day maybe they were bored I don't know so now let me tell y'all my money how much I made so my very very first YouTube check I made can I get a drum roll please $64. Oh! <laughs> I know y'all like, girl, it ain't nothing. And I mean, technically it's not. No one can live off of $100 a month. Uh, but it's like passive money. It's like you're not really doing anything. I, you're recording stuff that, well, for me, like I was recording me doing my hair. So it's something I already have to do anyway. I'm just doing it in front of a camera. So it's like easy money to come by. So it's like, okay, like I'm happy with $100. It's $100 I never had before. So I'm always grateful. I'm also appreciative because I always feel like if you show appreciation for the small things, then God will bless you with the bigger things. You have to work with what you got, honey. Storm, you want to be a star? You want to be a star? Say hey. Say hey, Stormy. Okay, so that was my very first YouTube check. And it, like I said, it was $100.64. And then my second YouTube check that came was for $442.60. So that was a big jump. I jumped from for like $340. So I feel like that was a pretty good jump. You know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't mad, you know, when that extra money came into my account. I was like, oh, okay, like, eh, I'll take it. I'll take that $400. And then on my third month of YouTube, well, of being monetized, I made $541.87. So as you can see, there is a gradual increase I got going on. I'm very happy about it you know like I'm not I ain't complaining it's an extra $500 that I you know that I wouldn't have gotten before like I said it's passive income because you have your old videos working for you like it's just I mean it's extra change that you didn't have before so I ain't never gonna knock it and also just to let you know the money that you make from YouTube is not tax it's tax free so even though I got a $541 check from YouTube that's not all mine honey I gotta pay some of it so don't, when you get 500 thing, oh I got 500 to spend because you still have to pay taxes on it. <laughs> so what I do is I tax the money myself. So whenever I get a check from YouTube, I'll put a little bit of it aside into a different bank account. So that way when it's time for taxes to come around or whatever, I'll pay it with that because I already put it aside. So I do have three tips that I want to give you guys about just starting a YouTube channel and becoming monetized if that is your goal. Um, so the number one tip, and I know God, you guys hear this a lot, but I really find that it's true um, because I've talked to a lot of people since I started my YouTube channel. They always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but they haven't. So my number one tip is to just start y'all. It's so simple. It's not hard. Just start. You don't need fancy equipment. So I do have a camera now that I use specifically for recording. Shout out to my dad for investing in me. He bought the camera for me. I appreciate it. But before that, I use this little baby right here. My iPhone 10s and a selfie stand. I don't know where that selfie stand at, but a selfie stand and I put it up on my desk and that's what I was recording with for the longest. And honestly, I kind of miss recording with this thing because it makes you look cuter. So yeah, this is all you need to get started. This is what I started with my first couple of videos. And you don't have to buy any expensive editing equipment either. Like I just use iMovie. If you have an iPhone, if you have a MacBook, it comes free. If you use a PC, then you can use a uh, Windows Movie Maker or whatever. It's free. It's free. So number one tip again is to just start. Get over your fears. When I made the decision to start my YouTube channel, I was so nervous about what were people going to say about me. Not even like, not the people I didn't know, but the people I did know. Like the people I went to school with, like the people I work with. Like just pe just like, you know, the people that you know that are not really like in your, in your main circle, but just like, you know, the, just the people that you know. I was so worried about what they would think, what they would say about me, what they clown me. I was really worried about that because um, you really are like putting yourself out there for everyone to see and for everyone to kind of like judge you. But what I came to find out is sometimes we are our own worst enemy because those people that you're worried about clowning you and talking about you, they're actually the ones who like be supporting you. Like I got so much support and encouragement from everyone, from people who I haven't even talked to in years, like since we graduated high school and yet people are just so encouraging and they're, they're just like so supportive so don't be your own worst enemy i know it's like a nervousness because you're doing something new and you're putting yourself out there but 
it will be worth it. I'm telling you, like, your people, your soul girl around you, the people that you know, they're going to be more supportive than you think they will be. They are. They really are. Uh, number two tip is to stay consistent. You guys, you have to keep on this. If this is something that you really want to do, if this is something that you want to grow, it takes time. And so you have to keep working. Um, your first video, your first couple of videos are not going to get a lot of views. I mean, you do have those unicorns where things just happen for them overnight and they're just so successful. But for majority of us, Things don't happen that way and it takes time. So don't be defeated if you post like two videos and you're only getting like 30 views. You guys, you have to keep posting, stay consistent. I made a promise to myself that I was going to post one video a week because I didn't want to be overwhelmed. I didn't want to be burdened. I didn't want this to feel like, you know, like, oh, I got to record a video. So I stuck to one video a week and if I did skip a week, I didn't beat myself over the head, but I just, you have to make sure that you stay on it. Like, if you skip a week, don't skip that next week. You make, make sure you already have a video in mind, a topic that you want to do, and go ahead and record it. Stay consistent. And also, if YouTube sees that you're being consistent and that you're actually putting effort into YouTube, they will actually push out your videos out more and try to show them to more people if they see that you're being consistent and that you're really trying. And my third tip would be to find your niche or niche 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 whatever find it my niche was natural hair that's what I decided to start with to grow because if you start with a particular thing people will subscribe to your channel because they know what they're going to get from you if you understand what I'm saying like if you just post a whole bunch of random stuff like if I posted like a hair video this week a tech video next week a workout video one week like if I was just all over the place People with certain interests, they really wouldn't know what to get from me, so they probably wouldn't subscribe. But if you start out with the niche, so that way you can get your core audience, then you can grow and later go into other things, which is what I'm trying to do now. But yeah, just pick a niche and try to grow within that niche. But anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, so that way you can continue to help me grow. I'm trying out here too. I'm still a small YouTuber, so please help me grow as well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.